Hello, I'm Marcia Chan, and we're going to practice English for Child Care, Chapter 6. This is the chapter on infants. Now, we've already talked about the lovely picture of the babies. We've read about infants and their development from 0 to 6 months and from 6 months to a year. We've talked about their development and their emotional needs and how parents or other adults can bond with a baby. We've also completed some sentences with new vocabulary. Now we're going to go back to this reading. I'm going to ask you questions about it. I'm going to ask you yes-no questions that are based on the reading, but not exactly from the reading. So please close your books and let's work on your auditory memory, building up how much can come in through your ears. So I'm going to ask you yes-no questions. First, you should Listen carefully to the question and try to understand it. And then I want you to answer in a complete sentence. And you should use the same vocabulary and the same grammar that I use in my question. Then I'll give you the correct answer. So listen to the, the answer that comes after it. If you're watching this on video, then you can pause the video and practice repeating the sentence correctly once or twice or several times to build up your oral fluency. All right, let's start with some examples. First, you'll listen. So my first question is, are Raquel and Liz taking an ESL for child care class? Answer. Yes, Raquel and Liz are taking an ESL for childcare class. Here's another example. In class, are they learning about the needs of infants? Yes, in class. They are learning about the needs of infants. Here's another example. Does the teacher give them the following reading for homework? Yes, the teacher gives them the following reading for homework. How did you do on those examples? Those were some sentences about the situation in which Raquel and Liz were reading this passage about infants. Now I'll ask you questions about the reading. Remember, try to do this with your books closed, but your ears open, and try to answer the question in a complete long sentence using the same vocabulary, the same sentence structure as I do. Are you ready? Here we go. Do babies learn a lot during their first six months? Yes, babies learn a lot during their first six months. When babies are born, do they begin to see how they fit into the world around them? Yes, when babies are born, they begin to see how they fit into the world around them. Do babies listen to sounds? Yes, Babies listen to sounds. Do babies look at human faces and eyes? Yes, babies look at human faces and eyes. Do babies pay attention to movements?
Yes, babies pay attention to movements. Do babies begin to trust the people who take care of them? Yes, babies begin to trust the people who take care of them. Will an adult bond with a baby if he takes care of him with love? Yes, an adult will bond with a baby if he takes care of them with love. Will the baby feel the love from the adult? Yes, the baby will feel the love from the adult. Will the baby bond with the adult too? Yes, the baby will bond with the adult too. Is it important for parents and caregivers to bond with a baby? Yes, it is important for parents and caregivers to bond with a baby. Can you bond with a baby in many ways? Yes, you can bond with a baby in many ways. To bond with a baby, should you hug him, hold him, touch him, and cuddle him? Yes, to bond with a baby, you should hug him, hold him, touch him, and cuddle him. Should you talk to the baby as often as you can? Yes, you should talk to the baby as often as you can. Should you sing to the baby? Yes, you should sing to the baby. Should you play with the baby? Yes, you should play with the baby. Should you read to the baby? Yes, you should read to the baby. Should you give the baby safe things to see, hear, touch, smell, and taste? Yes, you should give the baby safe things to see, hear, touch, smell, and taste. Do babies cry for many reasons? Yes, babies cry for many reasons. If a baby cries, should you worry? No, if a baby cries, you shouldn't worry. Should you try to find out the reason a baby cries? Yes. 
Yes, you should try to find out the reason a baby cries. May he be wet, thirsty, cold, or hot? Yes, he may be wet, thirsty, cold, or hot. Might he need to burp or suck on something? Yes, he might need to burp or suck on something. Could he be tired or sick? Yes, he could be tired or sick. Is he maybe overexcited? Yes, maybe he is overexcited. Might he be bored? Yes, he might be bored. Sometimes, does a baby have colic? Yes, sometimes a baby has colic. Sometimes, does a baby cry for hours? Yes, sometimes a baby cries for hours. Do some babies cry for a long time even though you try to make them feel better? Yes, some babies cry for a long time even though you try to make them feel better. If an infant is fussy, should you make sure he's comfortable? Yes, if an infant is fussy, you should make sure he's comfortable. Can you rock a baby? to comfort him? Yes, you can rock a fussy baby to comfort him. Can you take a fussy baby for a walk in a stroller to comfort him? Yes, you can take a fussy baby for a walk in the stroller to comfort him. Can you let a fussy baby listen to music to comfort him? Yes. You can let a fussy baby listen to music to comfort him. Can you turn off the lights to comfort a fussy baby? Yes, you can turn off the lights to comfort a fussy baby. Can you give a fussy baby a bath to comfort him? Yes, you can give a fussy baby a bath to comfort him. 
if a baby be if a baby keeps crying and you become angry should you find another adult to watch him for a short time Yes, if a baby keeps crying and you get angry, you should find another adult to watch him for a short time. If a baby keeps crying and you become angry, should you take a break? Yes. If a baby keeps crying and you become angry, you should take a break. Should you try to deal with a baby when you are angry? No, you should not try to deal with a baby when you are angry. Should you be afraid to ask for help with the baby or the chores? No, you should not be afraid to ask for help with the baby or the chores. When a baby is born, does she depend on adults for everything? Yes, when a baby is born, she depends on adults for everything. Does an infant start to become independent when she's between six months and one year old? Yes, an infant starts to become independent when she's between six months and one year old. At about six months, does an infant start to hold things in her own hands? Yes, at about six months, an infant starts to hold things in her own hands. At about six months, does an infant try to make movements by herself? Yes, at about six months, an infant tries to make movements by herself. At about six months, does an infant try to sit up? Yes, at about six months, an infant tries to sit up. Between six months and one year, does an infant crawl? Yes, between six months and one year, an infant crawls. After an infant crawls, does she learn to stand? Yes, after an infant crawls, she learns 
to stand. After an infant stands, does she walk holding onto furniture? Yes, after an infant stands, she walks holding onto furniture. Is she interested in all of these new activities? Yes, she is interested in all of these new activities. Does she want to cuddle as much as before? No, she doesn't want to cuddle as much as before. When a baby shows independence, should you encourage her? Yes, when a baby shows independence, you should encourage her. Should you show her you're happy and proud of her? Yes, you should show her you are happy and proud of her. If she needs some extra cuddling, should you enjoy this closeness? Yes, if she needs extra cuddling, you should enjoy this closeness. Should you respond to the baby's changing needs? Yes, you should respond to the baby's changing needs. Is it exciting to see a baby learn and become independent? Yes, it is exciting to see a baby learn and become independent. 